Y viene el gran chingón, el mero mero. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Mendes El Chingon Shaves. <laughs> That's me. Thank you for the support and I hope you all doing well. Today I decided to pull out a shell, uh, shave soap out of uh, my many shave soaps that I have and I've been wanting to use this uh, scent here. It's been quite a while since I used it. And uh, this soap is through the Fire Fine Craft Premium Shaving Soap and this is called Mel, and this is a scent that's inspired by uh, John Paul Gutier and the scent uh, Cologne Lamel. And this is through the fire fine craft Maria Armin. If you haven't known know who Maria Armin is, you need to check her out. She makes fantastic soaps. She's uh, an underrated uh, artisan, which meaning that she doesn't get a lot of love. I don't see a lot of her soaps in the shape of the days and I just wanted to come on here and give her a little love and uh, use her one of her uh, old soaps here and uh, this is a great one here I got another tub of this underneath my sink and uh, it's a great scent I truly truly appreciate this scent right here <sighs> this is a medium strong scent here I've had this for years and let me put it down in the description to my older video underneath my description for my video and um, that was one of my first videos that I used this and I was uh, new to YouTube and uh, you'll see I'll put the link down below <laughs> I think I was using a DE at that time when I first started shaving and uh, it's a pretty old video but I'm gonna put it down below just in case you are interested in checking it out it's very old, oldie but goodie video very hot today. It's uh, 3.35 in the afternoon. Hold on, Papa. He was being quiet using his tablet. Now he's crying. As soon as he hears me talk, he wants to come in here. Top notes for this soap is mint, artmasia, cardamom, bergamot. Heart notes of lavender, orange blossom, cinnamon, cumin. Base notes of sandalwood, vanilla, cedar, tonka bean, and amber. I could not find any information since this is an old soap that I've had in my den for quite a while. So it's no longer available on Maria's website or online. So I try to get the scent notes from the real cologne itself. And this is John Paul Gutier aftershave. Not the uh, EDT or EDP. But this is the aftershave. If you can see here on the back, it says Gutier on the back. I believe this is a French uh, uh, designer. I can't read. I can't read what it says on the bottom here because uh, it's the letters rubbed off. But I believe it used to say French on the bottom, meaning French. I can't wait to give this a go afterwards because this sounds awesome. This is a panty dropper right here, according to uh, Jeremy Shaves. I mean, Jeremy Fragrances, excuse me. He's a very popular uh, fragrance perfume perfumer reviewer on YouTube. I'll be putting it down a link down below for his video on my description as well. But to me, when I smell this puck here, it's a very fresh, clean... Uh, very fresh and clean scent. Masculine, of course. But I will smell woody notes in the background. That's probably from like sandalwood. But uh, yeah, it's a great fragrance that I truly appreciate. To me, it's a very clean fougere, woody scent, type scent. 
classy for a man. And the dry down of this, it smells barbershop to me afterwards. After it dries down and settles, the, the scent settles on your skin for a while. It smells like a uh, powdery barbershop after. It's great. I got my brush here. I know that uh, Ginger's Garden makes it. She makes her, her own interpretation of the soap scent on her website. And I believe it's on her uh, Instagram channel. Inspired scent from Lamal. Once again, uh, if you want to pick this up, I've never smelled Ginger's Garden's version, but I heard it's great. But this is Maria Armand's version through the Fire Fine Craft. I got my brush here soaking. And this is my uh, Milton inspired samurai handle that he made me quite a while ago. Uh, maybe I say maybe a year ago. I uh, reached out to Milton and I asked if he could make me this color, color scheme here to match my scales on my straight razor, my max breaker. And he did a great job. I think he did an excellent job, if you could see that. He matched the colors of the, the brush to my max breaker scales, blue power scales, to my brush here. And it looks amazing, in my opinion. This is from Turn and Shade, my brother Milton. And I forgot what what V not uh, version this is, but I'll be putting it down in the description down below since it's been a while since I've used it. But this is a very beautiful brush, and I truly appreciate Milton for all his hard work and his beautiful brushes. This is a Jelly Knot Badger fan. I believe it's a 26 millimeter. Let me lather this off camera, and I'll be back. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, I believe I have a couple days growth on the face. I believe three, four maybe. I got my brush here that loaded very nicely on my brush here and I got all this puddle leather here. I maybe loaded 15 seconds on the tub and it loaded up really nicely. Let me wet the face first. It's very hot today. It's starting to peel now, as you can see. I still got minor uh, burn rash. I am using aloe vera for my arms and my wherever I, I got burned from the beach last week. Oh, it feels good though. Yeah, I'm starting, my, my skin's starting to heal, so. All right, I'm gonna use all this proto leather here that I got from the tub, it's quite a, a, a lot of it. The uh, texture of the soap here, it's uh, it's firm. When I first used it, it was soft, but it hardened up. Me having it quite a while, it, it, it uh, hardened up. It's no longer uh, soft. It's kind of hard. Got a lot of proto leather here. I don't like to let none go to waste, as usual. Not on this channel. Let me rub this on the skin. Medium scented strength on the soap. Since I've had it quite a while. I don't recall from my last video uh, how was the uh, scent strength on that video, but right now it's medium strength. It's a little bit above medium. So I would say about a six and a half, almost seven cent strength. Tomorrow's Father's Day. I want to wish everybody a happy Father's Day to our fathers. Tomorrow's a special day for me, and I'm going to enjoy it tomorrow. But I hope you all fathers have a great one. Keep doing the great work you're doing for you and your families. All right, let's start the ladder on my face. As always with Milton's knots, they're always a pleasure to use. He has high quality knots. This is a tallow bay soap. Don't have a lot of ingredients off the soap, 
But I'll read them up to you. I'll read them off to you right now as soon as I get like, this lathered up. I got a great lather on my face already. I got plenty of suds on my uh, brush here. Very thick suds as you can see. I love Marie, Ar Marie Armin soaps. I always have. I haven't bought uh, any soaps from her lately. I do want to try that Postman's uh, soap scent. I know that DK reviewed it on his, uh, on his channel, my black bearded brother, DK. And he described it as a great scent. Very thick suds. It smells lovely. It smells banging. As long as I had it, it still smells banging. <laughs> I got plenty there on my brush and on my face. <laughs> got plenty of suds. All right, I'm gonna be using my uh, my day eights. Max Brecker from La Vegas, Nevada, and this is a barber's notch. <laughs> Quarter hollow, I believe. And this has an ivory, like an ivory white wedge and blue blue power scales, <laughs> monkey tail, uh, polish, nice, very nice polish on the, on the razor itself. All right, pass one with the grain. Let's get this uh, three days growth off. This razor here is on. Uh, was Kai Triska's razor uh, and he was very generous and very nice of him to offer it to me at a great price if it wasn't for him Kai Triska I wouldn't have this razor here Kai Triska I consider him a, uh, a great brother in the weight shaving community I haven't talked to him for some quiet time I know that he's busy doing school, and I hope he's doing good. So I hope, if you ever get to see this, my brother, which I don't think you're not because you're so busy, I hope you're doing well. And thank you very much for this razor. I truly cherish this razor. I'll never get rid of it. As long as I've had it, it still shaves great. It's still holding this edge. I'm not holding it yet. And that uh, doesn't seem like it needs to be honed because, uh, well, not yet because uh, I don't really use it that much. But uh, Max Brecker makes great razors, as you can see, and uh, his edges are fantastic. Look at that lather there. It's cutting. It's showing you that it's still cutting, still doing its uh, job. The edge. But I hope Kai Triska is doing well, and uh, hope he's okay with his schooling and everything. Hopefully, he gets to do what he wants. He's a great straight razor shaver, and I admire his skill very much, his technique. It's a joy to watch him shave with the, his many specs, uh, Max Breckers that he owns. So hot in here. I, was sure, I should have bought the fan in here, but I didn't. My 
my son, I can see, I can, I know what my son's doing, so he's good. He's just sitting down on his chair watching his tablet, being a good boy. Very slick soap. The uh, the soap is not very nourishing as a poche feel because this, this is Maria's older uh, older formula, but you still get a great cushion protection from the soap, and uh, the soap is slick, super slick, but just not very much post shave. I wish I had better post shave on it, but it's good, just not great. All right, let's begin with the uh, pass two with my brush. Look at that leather there, beautiful. I'm trying to be very careful not to drop this brush here because uh, the suds are very slippery as I was mentioning. Smells great, the scent. I need to give me the uh, EDT in this. I heard they reformulated re their uh, their the John Pago TA scents. I don't know because I've uh, I only smell the aftershave, but the aftershave smells identical to the uh, soap. I got plenty of lather on my brush for uh, another pass. This is premium soap right here, like the label says. Like I was mentioning, my only gripe is I wish I had a little bit poche, better poche feel. All right, pass two on my Max Breaker here. Shaving great. I'm getting ready to move. I'm real excited for that. I finally found somewhere else to live. Um. I ain't gonna share the, uh, share the location yet, but it's in the South Bay. I live in uh, downtown. I'm no longer gonna live downtown, which is a blessing. I'm getting ready to get get out of downtown. I've been here for the past, I believe, going on seven years, and it's time for a change. I'm still thinking about moving out of state. I just, we don't know yet. We gotta save up some money. Because the move is not going to be cheap. Me and my fiance were talking about um, uh, uh, Texas. But not just quite yet because we don't have the funds to uh, move out yet. But uh, we are moving, relocating somewhere else in the South Bay. In California still. Uh, I can't wait for that. The only thing negative... Negative part about it is that all the stuff that you see here in the background will no longer be displayed in my video because the bathroom that I have is small. And it's truly a privilege to have everything in my background, easy access to everything that I have here. But I gotta think about Junior too, you know, and he needs space to run around. He's getting to that age where he's really active and I ended up getting a uh, a place with the yard. So 
my bathroom, like I was mentioning, is going to be very small. So I'm not going to be able to have a lot of room to store stuff in my bathroom. And I'm going to truly miss that. For the time that we're living there because I just love to grab everything that I need. You know, it's very convenient for me. But I'm going to have to buy storage to put my stuff in and... That's what I'm gonna have to do in the meantime until I move to Texas, if that's where I move. But like I said, not quite yet because right there we still have to save up some money <sighs> looks like I got a clean shave no weepers which is awesome that's great no weepers let me raise my face Oh, that feels good. Nice cold water. <sighs> Papa, what are you doing? Huh? Let me check up on him. I'll be back. I'm back. As expected, I knew he was sitting down watching his tablet. And that was uh, exactly what he was doing. He's being a good boy. My boy. My little chingon. <laughs> he better be quiet. Trying to teach him, you know, the difference. And he's learning. That was a great shave. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I just thought I'd pull out a soap that I haven't used in quite a while. Next soap will be a new soap, I promise you. <laughs> I just wanted to share with the soap here because it's a fantastic uh, scent that I truly appreciate Maria making well made. And uh, hopefully she comes back in the future with a scent. Premium shaving soap. This is Mel from Through the Fire Finecraft Maria Armin. Lather my lather with my uh, Milton inspired samurai. My blue powwow samurai. He did a great job and I truly love this brush here. That's my man's Milton's going there. If you are interested, I'll be putting a link down below for his link if you want a uh, a custom razor. <laughs> Let me dry my uh, razor here. Use my Max Brecker. This is my eight Barber's Notch from uh, Max Brecker in Las Vegas, Nevada with blue, blue power scales, ivory white wedge, a quarter hollow Barber's Notch. Truly appreciate this razor and I thank Kai Triska for it very much. Thank you, my brother. It's an honor to have your razor in my den. Thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity uh, uh, to buy that razor from you. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's start the, uh, the splash here. I haven't used this in quite some time, so I got to shake it up really, really good. This is Lamel. From uh, John Paul Gaultier, and this is the aftershave. It smells exactly like the soap. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate y'all. Let me get a. I gotta be careful because this uh, has no restrictor, so I gotta be careful how I pour here. If I'm not careful, uh, it will pour everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, when I cut my video, I was touching my skin to see if I had leftover spots and I only had a, a little bit of hair here. So, but everywhere else is baby butt smooth shave and uh, great shave today. <laughs> Pre uh, shave for happy Father's Day. I might be doing a Father's Day uh, shave tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate y'all. I'll be back tomorrow if time permits and uh, God's will, I'll be here. 
have a great evening. Thank you for watching my video again. And uh, I appreciate everyone's support. I really do. God bless you all. Take care.